The real value of, for consumers of buying things, right, isn't really in buying them. It's in owning them and using them. And by understanding how people own and use the things that they buy, we can learn a lot about how we can better serve them, how we can make for better experiences for them. One of the things that Jeep had discovered years and years ago is that there's a good portion of their owners that never take their vehicles off-road, right? They have these tremendous capabilities, and the customers paying for those capabilities don't, doesn't, you know, they don't take advantage of it, they don't understand it, perhaps. And what we found is that when they experience those essential qualities that are built into the product, then it gives them a deeper appreciation of the product that they own, a, a stronger connection, a stronger bond and strengthened their relationships in, you know, broadly in this community. And so what we discovered was, was these relationships, customer to customer, customer to company, customer to brand, customer to product, they, 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 they support one another and they can build synergistically in ways that um, provide you know, for the marketer uh, the opportunity to build loyalty as, as reflected in you know, buying the product in the future, but also buying, in the case of like Jeep and Harley, licensed apparel and those kinds of things. And also, you know, they become very you know, uh, engaged in providing word of mouth and sharing the good word with other people. Um, in that way, the community becomes a valuable asset to the marketer. Uh, but to the marketer, as this marketer w looks to this asset, I mean, Susan Forney has done some great work on issues of reciprocity in relationships, right? The reason the customers, you know, this, this, the reason this community becomes such a tremendous asset is because the marketer is deliver, delivering a real value to them. And so community is very much you know, grounded in this providing values back and forth. And to the savvy marketer who understands that, they can be a partner in that community and strengthen the community and, and be a vital resource to that community. And that community, you know, in, in the ideal world, you know, um, you know, provides that value back to the marketer. There's a strong symbiotic relationship between the marketer and the community. The marketer, the marketer can provide the venues, the forum, they provide the brand, they provide the product, they, 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 they create this opportunity for the consumer then to build these relationships. And in building those relationships, the consumer is in turn bringing to the marketer their dollars, you know, they're buying the products, they're bringing to the marketer loyalty, they're bringing to the marketer um, uh, missionary zeal, you know, word of mouth communications. And so it's very, this, this symbiotic relationship that we talk about in our work really is a partnership. And you know, too often I, I hear um, marketers talk about, you know, how can we use this community concept or how can we use the subculture? And I, I'm, I'm fearful that in thinking about using, it sounds too much like taking. And, and what I've seen in the, with the firms that I've worked with there really is mutual giving. It is providing something that somebody cares about and allowing them to find joy in that.